we go back eight years ago, think about the, the number of clients you had back then versus the number of clients you have now. As a percentage, what has been the growth over the past eight years, do you think? we got to well, inspire somebody out there who just well, doesn't have the time to listen to okay, their calls. Okay, so, Clay, it's, it's, it's like I would go up and down from uh, about $10,000 a month up to about 40000 but it's up and down roller coaster. And so now we've, we've got it to where we're in excess of 100 clients. That's awesome. And so I would have anywhere from five clients to 20 clients on my own with networking, but I had no control over it. I, I, I didn't. Without the systems, you're going to be at the you're going to be victimized by your own business. For the, somebody out there who struggles with math, if you let's say that your average cl- number of clients was thirty and you go to a hundred, as a percentage, what is that? I I have grown. I have doubled every year since working with you. So I've doubled in clients. I've doubled in revenue every year. It's a hundred percent growth every year I've worked with. Now so. So I'm looking, we've been good friends seven, eight years, and I've got doubled five times. Which is just incredible. I mean, the first time you do it, that's one thing. But when you do it repeatedly, yeah, I mean, that's we're unbelievable. Work, we're working our blessed assurance off this year to double. We're planning on doubling again. We're incorporating new some, some, some new things in there to really help us do it. But we are going to double again this year. I started coaching, but it would go up and down, Clay. That's when I came to you as I was going up and down, and I wanted to go up and up instead of up and down. And so that's when it needed a system. So creating a system is you have nailed down specific steps that you're going to take no matter how you feel, no matter the results, you lean into them and you do them regardless of what's happening. You lean into them and it will give you X number of leads. You follow up with those leads, turns into sales. Well, I tell you, you know, it, it's if you don't have a script and you don't have a system, then every day is a whole new creation. You're creating a, a lot of energy just to figure out what are you going to do. Right. And the best executives, Peter Drucker is a father of modern management. He said, the most effective executives make one decision a year. What you do is you make a decision, what is your system, and then you work like the Dickens to make sure you follow that system. And so that, that, that's really what it's all about. So with a script here, I, you know, I, we have a brand new gal that just came, came in working for us. She nailed down the script, and yep. she's been nailing down appointments. Usually, we try to get one appointment for every 100 calls. We make two to 300 calls a day per rep. Right. And she's been nailing down five and eight appointments a day. Somebody out there is having a hard time. On that script. What's, so, she's making how many calls a day? She's making between two and 300 calls a day. Whoa. And our relationship is weird in that we, we do, um, if someone were to buy an Apple computer today, yeah, and uh, or, or let's say you bought a personal computer, a PC. The computer is made by, let's say, Dell. But then the software in the computer um, would be Microsoft, let's say, or Adobe or whatever that is. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I, make, I basically make the systems, and uh, you're, you're like the computer and I'm like the software. It's kind of how I would describe our relationship. Yeah. Tim, uh, I want to ask you this. You and I reconnected, um, and, uh, I think it was in the year 2000 and, uh, what was it, maybe 2010? Is that right? 2011, maybe? Or maybe, maybe further down the road. Maybe 2013? 2012. Okay, so 2012. And uh, at that time, I had I was five years removed from the D, from the DJ business. And you were how many years removed from tax and accounting software? Uh, it was about 10, 11 years. We met. Um, how did we re-meet? What was the first interaction? There was some interaction where you and I first connected. I just remember that somehow... You and I went to Hideaway Pizza. But do you remember when we first reconnected? Yeah. Uh, well, we had that speaking thing. that. Uh, oh, there it was. So yeah. it was Victory Christian Center. I was yeah. speaking there. My name is Robert Redmond. I uh, actually first met Clay almost three years ago to the day. I don't know if he remembers it or not, but I wasn't working with him at the time. I asked to see him and just ask him some questions to help you know, direct my life, to get some mentorship. Uh, but I've been working with Clay for now just over a year. Uh, The role I play here is a business coach, uh, business consultant. I work with different businesses, implementing uh, best practice processes and systems that I have uh, learned here uh, by working with Clay. And the experience working here has 
to put it real plainly, has been just life-changing. Um, I have not only learned new things and uh, have gained new knowledge, uh, but, but I have gained a whole new mindset um, that I believe wherever I end up uh, will serve me well throughout the rest of my life. Since working with Clay, uh, I have learned so much. I mean, I would like to say almost everything about, about business in terms of the different categories. I haven't learned it all. Uh, but I've learned all about marketing. I've learned about advertising. I've learned about branding. I've learned how to create a sales process for organizations in any industry. I've learned how to sell. Uh, I've learned how to create repeatable systems and processes and uh, hold people accountable. Um, you know, how to hire people. It just, it's, it's almost like every aspect of a business you can learn. I have learned um, a lot in, in those different categories. Uh, and then, Again, the, the mindset that I've gained here um, has been huge. You know, uh, working here, uh, you, can't, you can't be a mediocre person. Um, you are uh, a call to a higher standard of, of excellence. And then as you're called to that standard here, you begin to see those outcomes in every area of your life, uh, that standard of excellence that, that you want to implement um, no matter what you're involved in. Uh, I would like to describe the other... Uh, people that, that work with Clay uh, are people that are going somewhere with their life. Uh, Marshall in, in the group interview uh, talks about how uh, you know, the, the best fits for this organization are, are the people that, that are goal-oriented. So they're on their own trajectory, and we're on our own trajectory. And uh, the, the best fits are those people where there can be a, a mutually beneficial relationship, that as we pursue our goals, uh, and we help the business pursue those goals, the uh, business helps us pursue our goals as well. Uh, and so I'd say people that are driven, people that want to make something of their lives, uh, people that are uh, goal-oriented, they're focused, uh, uh, and uh, they're committed to overcoming any adversity that may uh, come their way. Clay's passion for helping business uh, owners grow their businesses is it's, it's unique in that I don't know if there's anyone else's that can be as passionate. Um, you know, whenever a business starts uh, uh, working with Clay, uh, it, it's almost as like Clay is, is running that business in the sense that he has something at stake. Um, you know, he's just serving them. Uh, they're, they're, they're one of his clients, but it's, it, it's as if he is actively involved in the business. Whenever they have a win, he's posting it all over his social media. He's shouting it across uh, the, the room here, here at Thrive. Um, you know, he's uh, sending people encouraging messages. He can kind of be that, that life coach and, and, and business coach in terms of being that uh, a motivator and that champion for uh, people's businesses. It's, 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 again, unique because there's no one else I've seen uh, get so excited about and passionate about other people's businesses. The kind of people that wouldn't like working with Clay are people that are satisfied with, with mediocrity, uh, people that uh, want to get th through life by just doing enough, by just getting by, uh, people who are not looking to develop themselves, people who are not coachable, people who think that they know it all and they're unwilling to change. Um, I would say those are the type of people. In, in short, anyone that's content with mediocrity uh, would not like working with Clay. So if um, you're meeting Clay for the first time, the advice I'd give you is uh, definitely come ready to take tons of notes. Uh, every time Clay speaks, he uh, um, it gives you a wealth of knowledge uh, that you don't want to miss. I remember the first time that I met Clay, I literally carried a notebook with me all around. I was looking at this notebook the other day, actually. I carried a notebook with me uh, all around, and I just took tons of notes. I filled the entire notebook in uh, about, about three or four months, uh, just from being around Clay, following him, and, and, and learning from him. And then I would say, come, come coachable. Uh, uh, be, be open to uh, learning something new. Be open to challenging yourself. Uh, be open to um, learning and, and adjusting parts about you that, that uh, need to be adjusted.